Today we're answering some questions about using tweens in Adobe Animate. To keep this video short, I'm going to assume that you have a basic understanding of Adobe Animate. If at any point during this video you feel like you need a refresher, I'll leave links to any relevant videos in the description below or in the top right hand corner. With that said, the first question is, is there any way to tween gradients? The answer is yes, this can be done using shape tweens. Here on the stage, we have a basic linear gradient. I'm going to go down to the timeline and create a new keyframe. And on this new keyframe, we're going to make some changes to our gradient. I'll start by changing its colors. And I'll also use the gradient transform tool to resize, rotate and reposition our gradient. And now that we have two different gradients, we can right click between the two keyframes and select create shape tween. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to learn more about shape tweens or gradients, links will be in the description or top right corner. The next question is, can I add a tween to a blur or glow effect? Once again, the answer is yes. Here's a drawing that we'll place inside a movie clip symbol. With our movie clip symbol selected, we can go to the properties panel and add a filter like a blur or a glow. I'll add a glow and you can set this up however you want. I'm going to make this yellow and a little bit stronger so that we can see it on the stage. And then we can go back to the timeline and create a new keyframe. On this new keyframe, making sure that the movie clip symbol is selected, we're going back to the properties panel, down to filters, and we will make some changes. Once you're happy with your changes, we can go back to the timeline again, right click somewhere in between these two keyframes and select create classic tween. As you can see, the size and color of the glow now animates between the two keyframes. If you prefer using motion tweens instead of classic tweens, the process is almost the same. Make sure your drawing is inside a movie clip symbol. And this time we will first go to the timeline to create a motion tween. On the timeline, we'll go to the first keyframe, select the movie clip on the stage. This time we'll add a blur. And for motion tweens to create a new keyframe, we we'll have to go back to the timeline, right click on the layer itself and select insert keyframe. There's a handful of options, but in this case, we're picking between filter. If you only want to tween the filter or all, if you also want to tween all these other things like position, scale, skew, rotation, whatever. In most cases, we just want to click all. On this new keyframe, we can select the movie clip symbol and tweak our blur filter in the properties panel. We'll make it super blurry. If I press play now, it should just work as expected. Okay, and the third question we're looking at today is could you do a video on shape tweens and the differences between all tweens? Thank you for the nice comment, Zach. I actually have made a video about shape tweens. It is in the description below. As for the differences between all of the tweens, I might make a full video on that someday, but here's a short version. Classic tweens and motion tweens are quite similar, with motion tweens supposedly being the newer upgraded version. Both classic tweens and motion tweens are applied to symbols, which means that they can be used for more complex animation that involves multiple layers and even some filters and effects as we just saw. Shape tweens, on the other hand, are applied directly to shapes or drawings and works best with very simple shapes involving very little animation on a single layer. Anything more and shape tweens become quite unpredictable and difficult to control. Next question, is there a way to tween the camera along a curved path like you can with symbols? That's a good question. As far as I know, at the time of this video, this is not possible. For those of you who don't know, motion or classic tweens can be used to animate objects along a curved path with motion tweens using the motion path and classic tweens using the classic motion guide. While you can apply motion or classic tweens to the camera layer, it seems like there's no way to access motion paths or classic motion guides, which kind of sucks. If you know how to get around this, please let us know in the comments. Otherwise, I think we just have to wait and hope that Adobe is working on this and will implement this sometime in the future. That's gonna be it for this video. I know that there are a lot more questions that I haven't answered and I have been away for quite some time, but I do plan on making more videos like this one and I wanna take the time to answer each question properly. If you have any questions about Adobe Animate or animation in general, leave them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them if I can. As always, thank you for watching and a special thank you to those of you who have stuck around and supported the channel even though I've been gone for such a long time. Thanks again, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.